ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ng brain power nila through competition. Unang tanong, are they up for the challenge? Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have Kiana. Kiana is a public administration student all the way from Bulacan State University. Her hobbies are watching K-dramas and playing online games. She is a Swifty and also a fan of Arthur Neri. Sunod naman, we have Sam. Sam is a student of UP Diliman. She spends her free time reading manga and playing farming sim games like Stardew Valley. She listens to the K-pop group Seventeen and loves to watch their variety show Going Seventeen. Up next, we have Jay. Jay is a mathematics student from UP Diliman. His hobbies are playing mobile games, card and board games, and watching random movies. He also listens to his favorite singer, songwriter, Taylor Swift. And finally, we have Azel. Azel is a student of manufacturing engineering from Bulacan State University. Her hobbies are watching movies and series and scrolling on TikTok for some good laughs and fun content. She also likes to listen to Ariana Grande and Twice. Daming Swifty, pero may Ariana Grande din. Anyway, our four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, nandito po si UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first rounds? Dito sa round the to, correct answers are worth 10 points each. So get ready to buzz in and collect those points because it's time. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. What word may mean a musical composition, the points made by teams playing a game, or a period of 20 years? Kiana. Genre. Genre is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is score. Question number two. U.S. President Barack Obama, singer Bruno Mars, and actress Nicole Kidman we're all born in what island state? The correct answer is Hawaii. Question number three. What sensory organ may be affected by macular degeneration, strabismus, or conjunctivitis? The correct answer is I. Question number four. What term refers to a package of half a dozen cans of beer, which is used to describe well-developed abdominal muscles? The correct answer is six-pack. Question number five. Local mozzarella cheese, as well as the famous quesong puti, is traditionally made from the milk of what animal? Diana. Carabao. Carabao or water buffalo is correct. K check. Question number six. In money matters, 100 million satoshi is equivalent to what digital currency? The correct answer is Bitcoin. Question number seven. In what ocean can you find the Great Barrier Reef, which is the world's largest coral reef system? Sam. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. This is a question in algebra. 
If x is 5, what is the value of 2x squared? Sam? 50. 50 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 9. What is the English word for the Spanish day of the week, Domingo? Tiana? Sunday. Sunday is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What unit of time is equal to a thousandth of a second? Sam? 10. 10 is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is millisecond. Question number 11. Complete the saying attributed to Lucretius. One man's meat is another man's blank. The correct answer is poison. Last question for this round, number 12. What game played by an estimated 1 billion people worldwide can end with a stalemate or a checkmate? Tiana. Chess. Chess is correct. Key check. And that's it for round number one. Maraming maraming salamat, Jules, for that round. And after that round, just a recap of our points. Kiana is in the lead with 30 points, followed by Sam with 20, Jay and Azel with some catching up to do, di ba? Pero, naku, eh, mukha namang kabadong-kabad ang mga contestants natin. Relax, relax. Relax, relax muna. So, para medyo ma-relax, relax siya. Ano kung ano, anong tinuturo mo sa akin? Para man ma-relax ang ating mga contestants, nandito na po tayo sa ating paboritong portion where we get to know our contestants just a bit more. This is... Okay, Chica! <laughs> so, let's start off with Kiana. Kiana, ikaw ay isang public ad student. May bala ka ba pumasok ng politika or run for public office one day? Mm, sa public office po, meron pong bala. Oh, saan naman? Anong, anong office ang pinag-aaspire mo? Um, Na-aspire po, na-inspired po ako nung nag-internship po ako sa DILG Region 3. So, Plano ko rin po mag-apply doon after. Sa Bulacan din mismo? Sa Pampanga. Pampanga. Opo, yung regional office po ng Region 3. Pero nagbabala ka bang tumakbo for Ay, an elective po. position? Hindi po, hindi po. Sa bureaucracy siya mismo. Sa bureaucracy. Sa bureaucra. Ayaw niya sa makulay na daigdig ng politika. Oo, masyadong makulay. Okay. Salamat, Kiana. Ito naman si Sam. So, Sam, ano naman ang pagkahumaling mo dito sa mga farming games? Bakit ka nahilig dito sa Manila Lab? Uh, wala lang kasi nagustuhan ko siya very chill lang kasi magtatanim-tanim ka lang, mag-aalaga ka ng hayop, magkakaibiganin mo lang yung mga tao sa paligid mo. So, ayun po, nag-e-enjoy lang ako doon kasi stress-free, pantanggal stress po. Ano nga ba ang course mo, Sam? Uh, I'm from College of Engineering po. Ah, kaya naman pala <laughs> stressful nga. Na mag-release ng stress ah. kasi medyo medyo lang naman stressful ang engineering course niya. Yes. So maraming maraming salamat Kiana and Sam, pero wag muna kayong masyadong matuwa, Jay at Azel kasi babalikan namin kayo, promise yan. We will talk to you again later. In the meantime, paghandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na po 'yan sa pagbabalik ng Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. In the lead, si Kiana with 30 points, followed by Sam with 20 points. At sila Jay at Azel, pwede pang humabol sa mga susunod na round. Pero ituloy natin ang second part ng... Kane Chica. Chica. Eh, si Jay naman. Si Jay mahilig daw maglaro ng mobile games, pero naglalaro din siya ng traditional or unplugged card and board games. So ano ang mas gusto mo sa bawat klase na games na to? Um, ang pinaka-highlight po ng uh, games para sa akin is yung bonding po with my friends. Bale, yun po yung pinaka-nagustuhan ko. Kaya po naglalaro ako ng mga games. Bale, parang yun na rin po yung pantanggal stress ko from Akad. So, traditional board games to? Face-to-face -face with your friends? Apo. Uh, kahit po mga uh, online games, uh, magkakasama pa rin po ka. Wow. Pero anong paborito mong board game? Uh, favorite board game ko po sa ngayon is yung um, 
Siguro po yung Carcassonne. Check natin. <laughs> Spell. Board game na lang. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat, Jay, sa yung uh, pampalipas stress. Ngayon naman si Azel naman, na mahilig sa TikTok. Isang tik TikTokerist. Ano yung kinakahiligan mong mga content sa TikTok? Um, so, ano lang po yan, mga TikTok edits po regarding sa mga K-pops na mga gusto ko for, ayun po, mga compilation ng mga funny moments o kaya po mga animals, mga babies na cute. <laughs> Diverse, no? From K-pop, animals, babies. <laughs> babies. Pero mukhang effective, tingnan mo, ang aliwalas, <laughs> diba? Parang walang stress sa buhay. Yeah, subukan natin mag-TikTok. Oh, Mag-TikTok na rin ako. <laughs> Maraming salamat sa inyo. Grabe And, naman to, parang natawa ka nung sinabi ko mag-TikTok na rin oh, ako. O hindi. <laughs> Sa'yo ko nga natutunan yung ibang mga sa TikTok. O oh, hindi. Oh, okay. Maraming salamat, contestants. And now, it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one, contestants. What is the title of the musical based on Madame Butterfly that came back to Manila in 2024, 25 years after it was first performed here? Alam nyo yan, I'm sure. The musical based on Madame Butterfly is actually Miss Saigon. Question number two. Collider.com named the clown Pennywise as the most evil movie villain. In what 2017 film did Pennywise appear? Kiana. It. It is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What common term involving a sea creature is given to a person who offers cash advances at extremely high interest rates and often uses threats to collect debts. Sam. Shark? Loan shark? Shark or loan shark is the correct answer. k -check. Question number four. What do you call the joint of the finger in humans? Well, this is the knuckle. Question number five. What two compass directions are the geographical areas represented by the opposing sides of the United States Civil War? Sam. East and West. The answer is incorrect. The United States Civil War was fought by the North and the South. Question number six. In the NBA, which Serbian center won his third Most Valuable Player Award on May 2024? Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic, that's the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. The Chamber of Secrets is the second title of which book or movie franchise? J. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, of course. K check. Question number eight. You just need a four letter acronym. In April 2024, a grass fire set 19 vehicles ablaze in a parking lot beside what building? Kiana. Naia. Naia is the correct answer. K check. If you wanted to be more specific, it was Naia Terminal 3. Question number nine. What green gem is made of beryl and valued third among gemstones behind the diamond and the ruby? Kiana. Emerald. Emerald is the correct answer. K check. Question number ten. Which video game franchise has released games with the subtitles Modern Warfare, World at War, and Black Ops? Sam. Ubisoft. Uh... That is incorrect. Naku, hindi alam ni Jay. It is Call of Duty. Ay! Sabi ni Sam, sayang. <laughs> Question number 11. What continent is associated with the Red Sea, Yellow Sea, and the Black Sea? 
Yes, Sam. Uh, Asia. Asia is the correct answer. K-check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. Nominated for FAMA's Best Actress Awards for her roles in Kung Fu Divas and Ang Pandai 2, who also earned a nod at the MMFF for Rewind? Jay. Marian Rivera. Marian Rivera, of course, is the correct answer. Kche. And that's it for round two. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabi, for that round. Let's do a points recap. Kiana is still leading with 90 points, followed by Sam with 60 points, Jay with 40 points, at si Azel, meron pang isang round. Oo, Parang pero... Mamon. I know, but uh, hindi pa tapos ang laban, di ba? Kasi ultimate pagalingan na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. And welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Kiana is the leading with 90 points. Followed by Sam with 60 points. Jay with 40 points. At si Azel, ahabol pa. Dahil paparating na nga ang ultimate pagalingan round. Okay, contestants, tandaan sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each. Pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, likewise, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's, let's begin. begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. The original UP oblation unveiled in 1939 at UP Manila was made of what material? A. Bronze B. Marble C. Wood D. Concrete E. Gold J. A. Bronze Mali po. You are almost correct, no? But the material is the concrete painted to look like bronze. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. Next question, please. Southeast Asian history. In world history, anong uri ng Budismo ang nakatoon sa striktong pagsunod sa mga original na turo ni Buddha? Kiana. Buddhism. Mali. A. Bodhisattva B. Mahayana C. Theravada B. Tibetan E. Zen Sam E. Zen Mali Malakas na tradisyon ito sa ban mga bansang Thailand, Laos at Cambodia Ang tamang sagot ay letter C Terevada. Thank you. Next question from Prof. Marla. In genetics, which inheritance pattern describes a trait controlled by a gene located on the Y chromosome? A. X-linked dominant. B. X-linked recessive. C. Y-linked. D. Autosomal dominant. E. Autosomal recessive. J. A. X. Link dominant. Mali. I thought this would be easy for our contestants, but a trait that's controlled by a gene located on the Y chromosome is letter C. Y. Linked. Thank you. Now we're off to our second set of questions. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. In visual arts, a famous surrealist painting by Salvador Dali shows three melting clocks in a desolate landscape. What is the title of this painting? A. Remembrance of Things Past B. The Persistence of Memory C. The Persistence of Vision D. Lawrence of Arabia E. 
Guernica. J. Be the persistence of memory. You are correct. Okay, check. Ang saya ni Prof. Sophie. Nasagot ang kanyang question. <laughs> Thank you. Next, Prof. Neil. This refers to any location where studies of specific ethno-linguistic groups are undertaken and whose properties contribute to the nation's cultural heritage. A. Anthropological site B. Cultural treasure C. Ethnographic base D. Heritage platform E. Historical hub J. C. Ethnographic, ba eh, ethnographic base Mali Anthropological site. Tamang sagot. Letter A. Anthropological site. K check. Nakunag tayo na si Kiana at saka si Sam. Both 75. Okay. Next question, Prof. Marla. What is the term for energy due to motion? A. Potential energy. B. Kinetic energy. C. Mechanical energy. D. Chemical energy. E. Thermal energy. A zone. B. Kinetic energy. The correct answer is B. Kinetic energy. K check. Okay, we're halfway done. So let's do a score Rika Patorni. Well, like we said, Kiana and Sam are now tied with 75 points each. In second place now is Aizel with 30 points and Jay with 25. Mm -hmm. Pero meron pa tayong 180 points at stake sa next two sets of questions natin. Okay, simulan na natin. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Uh, this is easy. Well, it should be easy. <laughs> the colors blue and orange, when placed next to each other, create the strongest contrast for those two colors. The same is true for the pairings red and green and yellow and purple. What are these color pairings called? J. Complementary. Okay, let me finish the um, options. A. Complementary. B. Primary. C. Secondary. D. Tertiary. E. Grayscale. A. Complementary is correct. K. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Neil. In historical methodology, this refers to the criticism that focuses on understanding the content and message that the historical material wants to convey by examining how the author frames the intent and meaning of a composed material. A. Absolute criticism B. External criticism C. Historical criticism D. Historiographic Criticism E. Internal Criticism Sam. C. Historical Criticism Mali Sobra palang hirap na tanong ito Okay, tamang sagot ay letter E Internal Criticism Thank you Next question, Prof. Marla. Okay. In a cell, what is the main function of the mitochondria? A. Protein synthesis. B. Azel. Powerhouse of the cell. I'll finish reading the options. B. Energy production. C. Lipid synthesis. D. Calcium storage. E. Waste removal. You said powerhouse of the cell? Um, palagi ang sinasabi ng mga estudyante. The correct answer was B, energy production, but I'll accept your answer. Okay, check. Thank you. All right. So now we're off to the last set of questions. May 90 points pa at stake. Oo nga, pero nag-iiba ang ating mga rankings, di ba? Although, Kiana is still in the lead with 75 points. Sam and Azel are in second place with 60 points each and Jay with 55. Okay, let's go. Anything can happen within this last round. Yes. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Ang panday 
or the blacksmith was a comic superhero created by Carlo J. Caparas in the 1970s. From the start, Ang Panday was drawn to look like which actor? Yana. Fernando Poe Jr. Okay, let me finish the um, options. A. Coco Martin. B. Fernando Poe Jr. C. Ramon Revilla. D. Richard Gutierrez. E. John Arcelia. B. Fernando Poe Jr. is correct. A. Check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Yeah, which country has the most Korean immigrants? A. Australia B. Canada C. China D. Philippines E. United States of America Hazel Australia, letter A Mali Sam E. United States of America Tamang sagot, letter E, dati nating kolonisador, United States of America, K-check. Okay, we're off to our last question. Kapag si pwede Sam pa? ang sumagot at tumama, <laughs> pwede siyang manalo. Oo, because Kiana has 105 points and Sam has 90 points. Yes, okay. Prof. Marla. Clinical tests have shown that formulations from which local plant with scientific name Blumea balsamifera can be used to treat kidney stones and edema. A. Banaba B. Ampalaya C. Sambong D. Tawatawa E. Malunggay This is now actually classified as an herbal drug and is a patented technology? The correct answer is C. Sambong. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Kiana with 105 points. She's our daily winner and we'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Congratulations once again, Kiana. And thank you, of course, to our other contestants. Palakpakan natin si Sam, Jay, and Azel. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Giang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check! K -Check.